Where is it? Hidden in the back corner. So we used the airline to blow around to see if we can dislodge it. We didn't hear it. So you gotta start hunting with a flashlight. Go on that side, you can see. Over here. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right there. Right, where is it? I think there's another use for that, I'm not sure what it is. It's made by Snap-on, see what it costs <laughs> That's not even the correct nut. See, it's not even a flange nut, it's just a regular nut. Probably because of a flange nut not fit in here because of this stupid big ass pipe. Be my guess anyway. Well, thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, Just make sure you know, in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. is trying to get it in there. There it is. Obviously I can see it real good. Oh yeah. Gives me a little bit of stud to get on there now. See camper at all. Appear to be going in, but I think we're going to have to go uh, do a little cleanup over here. Throw it in from the good side first. See, these are locking nuts, so they don't really even want to start in the good side either. We're going to be defeating the, the locking part here. It's not even going straight. Okay. Looks halfway straight, but.
appears to be cutting a lot of thread. Hmm. Now we could go buy a new nut, but that'd be too easy. Well, you, you decided to, to fix it. That's right. We're here to fix, we're not here to replace. Oh, okay. Because that's a pure correct nut. That's correct. <laughs> Unlike the other nut that's on the other side of the pipe. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't talk about that one. Which is an incorrect nut. Here's that thread going all the way through it now. <clears throat> we'll see if it goes in a hole now. We're on the stuff in this case. Going a little easier. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Still got the problem on the other one, though. Let's see if we can get that beating help in. Me. No, it doesn't appear to help me at all. We have less clearance than we have. Screw this a little bit. Ah, that's the metal. We'll beat the flange all the way on that side. I don't want not to go on further. Now we can get this. One. Other tools. This is where a crow's foot would come in handy. Oh. Did you bring one with you? Nah. I don't know if I have one. Screwdriver. Here's my crow's foot right here, see? Like my crow's foot? Pretty custom, isn't it? Oh. Extended crow's foot. Hmm. Why they put the, the round part down here? Some people thought that was for having a nut on it. That's where you stick the extension in. Oh. Now maybe we put this in there, if we're lucky. No, we are not going to be lucky today. 
close. socket in. See that? Oh. That took the line on me to see better, but I see it. It's in there right now. Oop. It's coming out though. Peg is in the way. This one up here. Go back down here, get some more. I remember it was loose when you cut off, remember? Yeah. It's not loose now. I'm sure it doesn't look like that. Socket's loose though. Okay, and that nut didn't seem to strip out either. So that's solid. Okay, now after you get all that pulled in, now you tighten it up back here. Because now the pipe's pulled all the way up in the front where it's going to sit. down with a wrench and make sure you don't jam your elbow into that <laughs> that would cause blood issues right there all those veins are right there blood issues like yeah. called bleeding yeah puncture mm -hmm. yes. all right go. so that one's on see that one makes it rattle this one doesn't oh wow so, now back here if you didn't want this to rattle you could put some little two-sided tape in there, or just a piece of anything in there. And foam. A piece of paper. Foam would be nice, and re-zip tight on the one side. So you only got one zip tight to take off, because this one's missing. Well, it's chipped off. So that's because you didn't put the proper hardware on here. The license plate was chipped off. Yeah, well, if you put a frame on here and hold it, you put bolts all the way through it. No, oh. we're selling it. Well, no, we're, yeah, we're, we're hanging on selling it, maybe. I don't know. All okay, right. so that was a nice, simple bolt-on, replace belt, no issues. No issues. None at all. Perfectly done. We follow all the appropriate torquing devices. All right. I might even go down the road without breaking. That would be the next test. Okay, well, I'll have to do that. There you go. All right.